Carnival 2025, lots of hype around it. People are ready to see what happens next. 2024 was like a good litmus test for the return of Carnival. What can people expect from Spirit Mass? Um, more quality. I think uh, as much as we did offer a good value proposition, we see some areas that we can improve. Um, and we plan to just give our customers more than they expect. Spirit was like a big conversation piece during the carnival season, even before the road Monday and Tuesday for what you guys were able to offer in the lead up and even after. How valuable is that to you? And is it valuable to maintain that sort of momentum that you've started? Yeah, I think so. I think it's valuable to turn as tourism product because I think at that time we needed something that was a little bit more disruptive, a little bit more innovative um, in comparison to the offerings by the other islands and the bands like worldwide. Um, so I think that our product is a little bit different. And I think Trinidad Carnival needed that to kind of incite the interest in Carnival again. Um, and I think now, I think that the customers expect so much more that it's going to push everyone to be at their best. So in terms of maintaining quality, I know maintaining the size of the band is super important to that. Yes. So walk me through what that thought process looked like for you in coming to that decision. Uh, it's Spirit's intention to remain a medium-sized band. Um, our, our masqueraders had a very good time last year because they actually had space to masquerade, which is something that we promoted uh, before the band even came to fruition. So we want to maintain that experience for our masqueraders. So we are not going to be a large band. We're going by one section, which is maybe a couple hundred people at max. It's going to be basically the same size as last year. And talk to me about the feedback that you would have gotten in 2024 that kind of reflects part of the decision to maintain that quality. A lot of our masqueraders were worried that we were going to be a big band. I was on a flight and I air hostess just stopped in the middle of the flight and said, I hope you, you, hope you can say, don't be a large band, you know? And, so it's been, it's been a concern by the spirit masquerader that they don't want to feel like they're just lost in this huge sea of people. And we listen to that and, and, and we're going to adhere to that. And we're going to make sure that the experience is very much the same as last year. If you go from a scenario where you're a medium band to a large band, the quality assurance is not going to be the same. You're going to ask your people at the brunch to mass produce food. You may not be able to do uh, Prosecco popsicles for 5,000 people. Um, you may not be able to do lamb for 5,000 people. It just becomes a lot more machinized, like a lot, a lot more mass produced. And, I, and, I, and we don't want to be that. We think that we can maintain and scale properly and ensure that our customers get the best product as possible. So many things that you've been involved in kind of grow to be such an intrinsic tourism product. What does it mean to Spirit Mass to have that appeal for the international audience? Oh, it means a lot to us. We're very grateful. We feel like uh, God has chosen us to do this. It, it, it's a responsibility more than anything else. Um, I think that, you know, Trinidad has, is such a blessed island. If you really look at it objectively, we are the mecca of a whole universe of, of carnivals, and, and, and that, which has created commerce and jobs for a lot of creatives on a, on a worldwide level. You know, we are the headquarters. You know, so it's a privilege to, for us to be in this position. All of us, all the bands, all the soccer artists, all the artists, everybody that's part of this, this beautiful industry um, called Carnival. So I, I really feel like we have to, to fly the flag as high as possible. And, and it's, it's a responsibility more than anything else.